If, as Alternative 3 maintains, mass enslavement is the plan, if not part of the public expression, of the secret rulers and shakers of this planet, then means for making the populace controllable as a step towards complete enslavement might be desirable. Although subjugation of his neighbor has been a pet project of humanity since the beginning of recorded history, since the middle of this century, the technology for creating zombies has been turned by scientists into a fine, if horrifying, art. That's uh, from Chapter 9, Ice Picks, Electrodes, and LSD in the Great Book, Mind Control, and UFOs, Casebook on Alternative 3 by the late, great Jim Keith. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. This is sort of a follow-up on my last video about staying politically active. Recently we've had a, a report come out which uh, purports to tell us all that the biggest thing about uh, climate change, the biggest way that we can that we can prevent climate change or, or, or uh, reverse it is to enact uh, population control. Now this is the bottom line nitty gritty of what the elites would like in, in, uh, in the world. And that is to have a greatly reduced population and have that population be um, all a bunch of fucking peasants living on the land doing the bidding of their masters just like it was in the feudal days. Now, uh, some of the issues that I have addressed with Congress, I'm going to include copies of the actual letters that I wrote to do with them what you will. I'm going to provide a basic framework of the letters that I wrote regarding the particular issues. Then you can use them just the way they are, no, no problem, you don't have to ask, use them, okay? Or you can modify them whatever way you choose, okay? They're, they're free for your use, for that purpose. Some of the issues, number one, uh, the czars. What's up with all the czars, okay? Um, many videos have talked about this, okay? But I think we're, we're missing the boat on this issue, okay? The president certainly... Any president has the right to have anybody he wants to hold a uh, position of prominence within his administration to help him enact policy. All presidents have experts and scientists and everything else just like that that they use in order to make policy. I mean, it's, it's a natural thing. You get people you know who know what they're talking about to tell you how to make choices in your own life. Okay, so why should it be different for the president? It shouldn't in that sense. But what should be a fucking shame and what should be a concern to people is the fact that the president is appointing such extreme fucking people to positions of prominence. Like John Holdren, who has an extreme eugenics agenda, an anti-humanity agenda that is only bolstered by the idea of uh, climate change. And now, with this supposed new reports coming out showing that population control is the best thing we can do for climate change. John Holdren has to go. Period. The president can have an expert to help him on scientific matters. What he can't have is have someone holding the position of prominence which thinks that like half the fucking planet has to fucking die. I have a problem with that. And I'm sure there are many fucking experts out there who do not hold that extreme fucking position who can advise him just fucking fine. So he needs to fucking go. Janet Napolitano needs to fucking go. That whole homegrown terrorist bullshit where she relied completely on the Southern Poverty Law Center and outdated and bogus information cobbled together from the Internet where she labeled war veterans 
And people who like the Constitution as potential homegrown terrorists. That is a fucking farce. That woman should not hold any fucking office, let alone Homeland Security. Give me a fucking break. Cap and trade. Cap and trade. All it will do is further reduce our own manufacturing in this country by putting limits and caps on manufacturing in this country through energy restrictions. What we should have in this country instead is increased energy production so that we can compete in the world and take care of rebuilding our own fucking crumbling infrastructure. And do not buy into the global warming slash climate change bullshit, especially on the eugenic side. Because I know there are people who believe that climate change is real. And they even believe that humans are behind it. I don't. There are a lot of scientists who disagree. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. That there is vast disagreement on the issue. It is far from a fucking consensus. That is enough to warrant caution. And the only thing cap and trade will do is make people like Al Gore fucking richer. And make you poorer. It's a simple fucking equation. Scrap cap and trade. Now, I know you also, many of you, if not all of you watching this, would like to see the Federal Reserve dissolved. Personally, I'd like to see the United States nationalize it. However, that seems to be an unlikely scenario. So instead, maybe we could focus on trying to change the policies of the Federal Reserve in the meantime. So urge your senators to throw Ben Bernanke out. All of his policies have been directed towards banks and financial institutions. To your fucking detriment. You are the one holding the fucking bag. And even as Wall Street continues speculation and continues to try various schemes to make money, we underwrite their risk. Bernanke needs to fucking go. Who else needs to go? Timothy Geithner, a fucking tool of Goldman Sachs, who is like a fucking leech on this country, the Treasury and the Federal Reserve. Throw Timothy Geithner out of fucking office. And finally, the Tobin tax that I've talked about before. Make Wall Street pay for their rampant fucking speculation that they have not had to pay for. And these so-called companies that are too big to fucking fail, they can do whatever they want, knowing that they'll get bailed out by Bernanke and Geithner and the others who are complete fucking tools of Wall Street. Let's make them pay. And at the same time, discourage rampant speculation, which has led to the worst economic situation in living memory. And despite what you've heard, we're not coming out of this recession. There are no fucking jobs. People are out of work and running out of benefits. What do you think's going to happen when that happens? How about a moratorium on foreclosures? These are all very important issues. Take a little bit of time. Call and write your senators and representatives and tell them 
your views on these matters and demand that they take action. Please feel free to use the letters I'm going to include in the sidebar. Thank you. Good night.